Last time we looked at the Linux kernel, the engine of our Linux car. Today we are moving up to the body and interior. We will explore how display servers and desktop environments work together to create the user experience you see on your screen. So remember our car analogy. We've got our engine, the kernel, in place. Now let's see how we get from that to a drivable car. First we have the display server. Think of this as the car's chassis and the basic frame. It is not something you directly interact with, but it's crucial for everything else to work properly. The display server manages how things appear on your screen and handles input from your keyboard and mouse. There are primarily two main types of display servers in the Linux world, X11 and Wayland. We discussed these two in this video. X11 is older and Wayland is the newer one. Now onto the desktop environment. If the display server is the car's chases, then the desktop environment is like the car's interior and the dashboard, all in one. It includes things like the taskbar, the start menu or application launcher, like your car's controls, and the file manager. We can probably think of this as the car's storage compartments. There are many desktop environments to choose from. We have GNOME, KDE, KDE Plasma, XFCE, and Cinnamon, and more. So the desktop environment interacts closely with the display server to create what you see and interact with. When you open an application window, it's like getting into a car and going for a drive. The application talks to the desktop environment, which then talks to the display server, which in return talks to the Linux kernel to make everything happen. So to sum this all up, we have the display server, like X11 or Wayland, and it is the basic structure for displaying graphics. The desktop environment builds on this to create the user interface you interact with, and together they turn the raw power of the kernel into a usable visual experience. And that's how we get from the kernel to what you see on the screen. If you want to know more about how the display server works, you can refer to that Wayland video I posted earlier, and in the next video we will look at the applications and how they fit into this picture.